the trick is to only search headings. How would that solve the problem? So, okay, all right, I'm gonna get weird for a second. Weirder than I've already been for the past hour and a half. So, okay, and follow me on this. <laughs> In the English language, I can't speak to any other language Things are usually based off of their heading, right? Like about strip, oh, about strip markdown from text, right? So we have headings that make up text and they're kind of serve as like table of contents. And that's a very common thing. As a matter of fact, it's pretty much panacea. <laughs> like everything has titles. This this stream has a title. This might make it actually a lot easier. Because what I was trying to do before, I don't know. I'm, I'm like kind of thinking about it. I'm kind of getting a little bit excited. So like what I was trying to do before was literally go through, either cut it up by sentences and put it in or eat the whole thing, hope that the document is clean enough that it won't just insert a bunch of bullshit. But now that I'm thinking about it, if the headers are good enough, they would probably update a lot less than file names. And when the file name updates, we can just go ahead and update all of the headers in the file name. So that means though that all we would have to do is go into each file and embed the headings and then we could automatically jump to the headings too which would put us because this is all a proximity search this doesn't really do exact matching anyway like we did with this whole um ludwig search right like if i searched ludwig and i got streamer atrioc cutie cinderella that's not an exact match it's a proximity search you want to be in the proximity and a heading is a really good proximity and if it just doesn't have a heading it just won't search it wait that's pretty fire it's not perfect i think that it's going to be missing out on files that just don't have headings but then i could just use the file name and embed that too Does that make headings better than tags then? I think so because headings are more localized than tags. Like with tags, you can be like hashtag JavaScript, hashtag markdown, hashtag Node.js. But that's what you would be searching for. You'd be like, let me find everything that's in this tag. The idea is that you would want. But what if the heading misses out on things inside of it like for example if i was just searching for the heading of remove markdown it would just get about it wouldn't get strip markdown from stuff and it would embed just what is it oh man, maybe this doesn't work i guess It brings up an interesting idea of if I'm going to be targeting the headings anyway, then maybe I can grab all of the children with it. Is that possible easily? Like everything that falls under that heading and then just accept that sometimes that will be the whole file. And then if that heading is too big, we skip indexing it. The problem with that, though, is that it gets kind of complicated because now we have all of these document or these header level embeddings that all need to point back to their parent file. And that's like kind of shitty. Hmm. 
Okay. Um hmm. So I guess it's like that's a pretty good trade off in between what you would normally get with sentence level embeddings and what you would get with document level embeddings right like i mean usually my headings are pretty descriptive of what's going on because i try to do atomic notes so for my particular use case i don't have many <clears throat> notes that aren't standalone except very specifically read wise disambiguations <laughs> 